Okay, hi Ian, how are you? Good, thanks Sarah. Yourself? Yep, this is uh, interesting times. So, um, Very interesting. it's just looking at how, how we're all coping with this, how can we maybe cope with our situation a little bit better by perhaps under, understanding ourselves and the people that we're uh, locked in with in terms of uh, at home. <laughs> Uh, and what, what we can do really. So I'm going to just hand over to you and uh, maybe explain a little bit about who you are and what you do. And okay. Well, thanks for inviting me to chat to you. Um, my name's Ian Clark and uh, I run a, uh, a company called Workforce Solutions Group. And um, our particular specialty is decoding people's mindsets. Uh, and we use a, a tool called Mind Sonar, which, uh, in in NLP terms, um, looks at your meta programs and your um, criteria, um, your value base. Um, and uh, for um, non NLPs, what it does is it looks at your thinking style and what's important to you. And I think in these troubled times. Um, I, I'm I'm uh, I'm always reminded of um, you know what sets us apart from other people um, uh, is is that our ability or other animals I would say is our ability to um, change our mindsets depending on what we're doing and um, through some of our work um, we we've been able to to look at. Uh, you know what's a healthy mindset so our our colleague Jap Hollander in in the Netherlands um, did a, a whole section on um, healthy mindsets and so um, one of the, uh, the, the the key elements around when we measure people is that we, we set a context and we don't just say you're like this always and if, every time so you talked to me earlier about um, introverts and extroverts not a term we like to use because they seem to be associated with a certain psychometric which yeah. almost labels you and i know that psychometrics aren't intended to label you but they don't set a context so you can understand yourself at a granular level so when we were measuring people with a healthy mindset this is what we found people with a healthy mindset look for what's right in the world and um, so they're always looking for the things that match them um, they have a high level of knowing what's right by judging things by their own standards and they also have an eye on what they want to achieve and the future of where they're going mm. and the other big element to to healthy mindsets is um, they're focused on people that's relationships and i think that's that's really important when we're in lockdown there's a or, or, or a lock-in as they're calling it here <laughs> yeah sorry it's, it's not... i'm in ireland you're in the uk so. yeah, okay so it's, yeah, i'm just wondering it is it, it, locked down when we we've had enough of the kids and we're, we're shutting them in into the bedroom i'm not sure <laughs> yeah, so a lock in um that's how we uh, get locked up <laughs> could be that uh, but i do think that's that's an interesting one is that the mindset of um of both an entrepreneur and of a healthy person which are, are, are quite similar um the, the the difference being here i've not mentioned um introvert or extrovert or in in meta program terms um what we would call say is proactive and and reflective the, 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 the harness that we have to have around our mindset if we want to maintain healthy, whatever we're doing, it's, it's looking for what's right, judging things by our own standards, having an eye on the future of where we want to get to and, what we, and knowing what we want to achieve and also focusing on relationships. Mm -hmm. So I think there's, for those of us that are working from home, I think it's really important um, because we are in the same boat as everybody else and there is no doubt that at some point we'll all be getting off that boat and going on our, our journeys so now is the time i think for the mindset to be reaching out to to people like you and others and saying hi i'm here um what can i do for you what can i help you with how can i solve things for you um 
and looking to to reach out to people now i think that's a, that's a mindset that some people will naturally have but others need to probably work towards it so just the setting of your day what's been good about today um who can i make contact with um and also you know often what's right for you and not having to seek external reference from others to say that it's right so it's getting in touch with yourself i think mm -hmm. but also reaching out to others and um i find this the, the whole concept of when we're working with um uh, our kids at home or our partners that are in lockdown or uh, locked in um this is where sometimes we don't harness the right mindset for for working with others and um, I'm reminded of a, a colleague of mine who measured uh, uh, a, uh, a university lecturer who wanted to build a better relationship with her daughter. And her daughter was um, 13 going on 15. Nice. And um, so we probably, a lot of us can relate to that, but it's, it's not dissimilar to if we're working or, or, or in lockdown with our partners. Um, so imagine, um, uh, you're with your 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 child your loved ones as a an adult you know what's right as a teenager or a young kid they know what's right so instantly you have that i'm right no i'm right mm -hmm. and this is where as as an adult we need to probably step back and be less i'm right and more about listening and understanding so focusing on that person now as a, an adult, we probably have what they, in, in, in thinking style terms is called a bit of an away from pattern. So we're, we're looking to solve things and we're looking for, for what's wrong. Whereas a teenager or a kid will just be focused on actually what they need to achieve, what they need. So that might be, I need to get on my Xbox, I might need to do this, I might need to do that. But they'll be talking um, in very much what they want to get. And then, we as adults will be talking about the future they will be here in the present the future doesn't exist to them and neither does the past that's gone so whilst we we, we start talking about well you need to do this because actually no i need to do it now um and and so there's a conflict there and then we will draw on our years of experience and information um they will just be focused on their activity and so you can start to see that possibly there's a bit of a conflict there because we go into detail about why they should do something and what they need to do. They're not focused on the detail. For them, the day is almost um, another holiday. All right, they lack the process that they've normally had around school and we're trying to give them a process and we're parents, not teachers. And so there's a, there's a real um, uh, clash. And I think, um, this was what we, we observed with this um, uh, parent and the daughter. And the way in which um, uh, that really escalated uh, the, the problem was that the, the mum was mismatching everything, looking for what was wrong and the mistakes. And the daughter thought that she was doing everything right or, or was perfect. So here, as, a, as an adult, when, we, when we've got our mindset with, mindset with our kids, we have a value of power we're in charge and, and and it's a bit of a battleground whereas the kid they're just focused on harmony and um getting on with their their world so there's they might have a, a, a completely different um set of values to what we as adults I, I don't know if many parents and teenagers would say harmony comes in particularly <laughs> with, their, with their peers or with their yeah. peers yeah not 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 when it comes to 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 harmony with us although uh, you know it's an interesting one do, do they seek stability do they do they seek being t together um but but we don't we will probably see it's a battleground instant and and that's i think when i say we need to step back because as parents we probably uh, are going into this i'm in charge i'm right um and that that causes the conflict and and i think what we need to do sometimes in our mindset is is look for that um uh that togetherness that that um them having a voice us having a voice us being more um reflective 
as opposed to being proactive and trying to put a, a process in place. And I think um, possibly, you know, when you just said that they're not necessarily harmony, actually, they probably, without knowing it, have a bigger view that actually it's all right, it will be fine. You know, there'll be some elements of nervousness there, particularly if they're seeing a parent leave for a job and they hear all the, 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 the noise out in social media. But for the majority, I would have said, just looking at my own kids, they're focused on their activities on the Xbox or as a teenager would be, getting enough sleep in. Oh, um, yeah. Yeah. yeah this is this is a fantastic opportunity for them to uh, <laughs> actually go into their natural circadian rhythm yeah is to get up later and go to bed later i mean that has been proven scientifically yeah. that you know that the, they do have a different body rhythm so but how many of us get wound up by that because it doesn't i'm, I'm okay well. with it actually i have to say my my uh the my husband's not uh yeah. particularly because he has well, to get up and, and work so i think it it's fit with that different. process does it <laughs> a daily routine yeah. so i think there's there's something about um when we're when we're, we're meeting our kids it, there's, there's this element about um it's not about whether we're right it's offering them to be right so recognizing valuing them it's not as being specific with detail it's about being a little bit broader and, and talking bigger picture terms but when we're working with our kids because we still want to have structure we still want to get them to, to, to achieve certain things. It's actually going back and, and offering a suggestion and um, giving them a choice because whilst we might be talking about we need to do this, this and this, actually that sounds quite command. And I think there's, there's, a, there's an element here of our mindset should be around, okay, I know that uh, you know what's best for you, so you recognise, you honour their uniqueness and um, you offer a suggestion and you can create um, a, you know more harmony by probably offering two options yes um, which uh, they can pick one or the other to do within a time period a certain time here and a certain time there so you know i think um, i love shelly rose's uh, um, idea and models around the suggestion model which says you know offer the suggestion tell somebody what it will get them, what it will achieve, and then give, gift them a, um, a, a, you know, a compliment. Um, and I I think, think. Uh, yeah, I, I think it's a great one. But I think also bear in mind that we are trying to um, talk to our kids to do certain things at key points. If we offer it there for them to create their own process, or we use the terms, you know, you can create a different way of doing these things, uh, within this time period and if you do that it will get you more time on the xbox and less time me moaning at you what would you prefer um you know and if you if you flower it up like that you might find that there's a different relationship and if we don't keep focus on well if you don't do this it will happen this 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 and this which actually in through one ear out through the other so i think the mindset <clears throat> for, for when we're working at home whilst we want and we, we crave process, we have to be a bit more relaxed. And I come back to this healthy, healthy approach, which is um, we look, let's look for what's right in others. Let's recognize um, what we know as right, but not necessarily enforce it on other people. So step back and maybe listen. And let's look at the bigger picture. Let's look at the goals that actually we want to achieve. And so if I look at the stress that I caused my kids in the last couple of weeks, that's not part of my goal. My goal actually is around <coughs> them achieving what they need to achieve, but also allowing me to achieve what I need to achieve in my work when working from home. Yeah. And I need actually, to... I mean, what, what always comes to mind um, for me is always looking at impact versus intention. Yeah, yeah. You know, is when, when you look at the impact, you ask yourself the question, well, was it my intention to have a big row? Of course not. You know, that's never the intention. Was it my intention that someone would walk off and slam the door and, you know, be upset? No, of course not. And then to just ask yourself, just again, that whole thing of taking that step back and reflecting and saying, well, what was my intention? Okay, how else could I go about that how can I go about that differently that's actually more in line with the intention 
um, because we are all a bit addicted to being right. We, we are, but actually we need to honour uniqueness yeah. in the kids that we, we raise because actually we're probably often a little bit hard on the kids because they reflect the um, sometimes the flaws that we identify within ourselves. So I think um, when we start to understand how we think, um, we want our kids to think better and differently, um, have a, a different outlook. Um, and I can see that in, in a lot of activities I do. And I think um, the beautiful bit about decoding people as opposed to labeling them introverts or extroverts is that we know in the NLP world, or we, we make a presupposition that actually you can change. Yeah. Um, and I think that's, that's what I love about the, the language and behavior profiling, the meta programs, the identifying of one's criteria into a value base, is that we can shift our mindset, uh, shift our perception, and act in a different way to achieve key goals. And I think um, the big thing that I've noticed in, in this lockdown, locked in period, is <clears throat> those on the internet that are selling stuff to people just haven't quite got it that actually we're in this boat together. You know, we're not getting off it yet. So don't sell within um, the, the, the social media setup. Ask me how I am and offer me a solution, which at this point I don't have to worry about how can I afford it. Mm. Offer me a solution where I can be engaged and think actually, when this is all done, you're at the top of my mindset. I am going to come and talk to you because you've been so gracious in offering a little bit of information. So I think this, this conversation that we're having is a lovely way to reach out to people and say, have you thought about this? Yeah, at no and that, point, was, that was absolutely the intention of this, uh, this page. You're not charging me, are you? <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I, think, I think it's more about me paying you, isn't it, Ian? You're doing, yeah. you know, you're doing a service for me. No, I just really, I mean, uh, what came to my mind, you know, uh, last week was that I know so many amazing people out there who are doing amazing work with people, all in different ways. Um, and it's just to give people um, a, an experience and just a little taste of, of actually how this can really help them. Um, yeah, without having to... Do you say giving or gift? Hmm. Because I, I often like the term gift, yeah, because yeah. uh, people may not want this, and so, you and know, accept a gift you can always or, take or it back. Choose to yeah. accept or not, yeah. Very yeah. nice. Nice nice little reframe there. Thanks, Ian. No, no worries, no worries. I, I like to use that when, um, uh, when we talk about feedback um, and, you know, when we're using, let's say, the suggestion model within um, uh, thinking styles. Uh, somebody pulled me up and said to me, why do you keep saying the word gift? And I said, well, if I gift something, I've taken time to think about it. I've wrapped it up and then you've unwrapped it. You may not want to take it on board, so you'll put it to one side. Um, but at least I've taken the trouble to think about it and um, pass it over to you. Um, but I'm not giving it you with the expectation that you wear it or take it. Yeah, very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, thank you for gifting me your time this morning. Yeah, no worries. It's always a pleasure. To I know. I know you did have a really good thing. You know, we, we kind of booked this a, a few days ago and I know I can see you've really thought about, um, you know, what information you would like to gift to people that could help them the most at this time. And particularly those who have teens at home. And I know I, you know, I'm one of them. Uh, and yeah, it's all, you know, how can we adapt? How can we be a bit more flexible? In, in such an uncertain time, you know, we don't have any, we don't know when we're getting off this boat. So, you know, we, we get to spend time uh, with the people in our lives uh, a lot more. And, uh, you know, we get to really find out actually who we are and who they are. And I think that this is an amazing, it is a gift actually this time, um, depending on how we look at it. Um, and I, I love your suggestions. I think it's, it's brilliant, a brilliant way of really you know, how can we have more harmony and how can we appreciate how, particularly if you've got, you know, more than two people in your house, uh, those personalities and how we're going to be dealing with things in this context at this time 
different things will come out and how we can we can appreciate that yeah i i, I think we've got a, a a wonderful and an amazing community um around us and we need to draw on each other for um uh, expertise uh, now's the time to be building for the future um, you know nothing will stay static um, um, but uh, it's not often we get this time to step back um, be around our loved ones even though some of them might be isolated elsewhere but with the gift of um, uh, zoom and other technologies that are out there available to mankind um, it, it's a great it's a great place to, to be um, and uh, you know it, we'll be looking back at um, 2020 when we're probably in our 70s with um, do you remember when? Yeah, no, I, 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 don't, I think, you know, everybody who's, who's alive at this time and who's aware of what's going on, this is going to be a very pivotal moment in, in our history. Yeah. Um, and it will be interesting really to see what actually does come out of this. But I think that I think, on you know, there's going to be so many. Yes, of course, there's, there's some very sad situations absolutely um, yeah. leaving who who you know before their time um but on the other and if we put that to the side everything else you know on balance will, will it seems you know be be much more positive i mean i just think nature is amazing and we are part of nature and reconnecting back into that will help us uh to rejuvenate as well don't you just love not using your car <laughs> oh, well i i i still my my social life is either this or tesco's <laughs> you know so uh yeah it's actually not really that much different than it was before, really, I suppose, because I do a lot of work from home. So. Well, that is an interesting one. I've never had so many conversations with people when I'm going shopping, even though we have social distancing, because actually you have to be polite within the excuse me, um, so nobody's offended when you're passing them. Um, uh, and that's, you know, within the nature. But actually when you're waiting and queuing two metres apart, the conversations you strike up, Oh yeah, very quite interesting. interesting. Everything from somebody who's in an anxiety state to somebody who's quite relaxed and chilled, and um, so I, I, I do find it the social watching of people at the moment is, is fascinating. And our conversation earlier about uh, Donald Trump, um, I'm now going to have to go that's back another video. video. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, Ian. Absolute pleasure as always to talk to you. Always very interesting. Always. I always learn something new uh, and I really hope people have got something uh, positive from this. And if they want to get in touch with you directly themselves and know a little bit more about Mind Sonar and maybe look at what's happening to them, there's going to be a link underneath this video. Brilliant, brilliant. That's, that's lovely. Anything we can do to help people. Absolutely. Ian, take care of yourself and those around you and we'll talk to you soon. Take care, Sarah.